It's crazy. I actually watched it. I, if you ever have any wasp and you don't want to smack it or kill it or whatever, I'd recommend just getting a little spray bottle, putting a little bit of dish soap and water in it, mix it up, spray that thing, and it suffocates. And you spray it in the soap. I mean, it's kind of a, a treacherous death, but um, you spray it, and then it tries to fly. It stumbles a little bit. It can't fly very... It, it, like, it pretty much loses its flight within, like, a second or yeah. two, falls to the ground, and then its legs, like, freak out. And then, you know how when a spider dies, it kind of curls up into a ball? Yeah, yeah. yeah Same yeah. thing. When the wasp dies, it, like, curls up into, like, a fetal position, and then it died. Yeah, also wasp spray. Yeah, but that has... That's pesticide, <laughs> and those are dangerous-ass yeah, chemicals. Yeah, you, that's, that's the outdoor stuff. We had... Uh, high school sectionals my senior year. I, you know, I... You know, I... I can name a few meets where, like, I... A lot of days where I can, like, recall, and, like, I would go back and visit. High school sectionals would be one. Because that was just an incredible year. That... Winning my first conference title was pretty cool. Like, being able to jump in the pool. Bro, look at this athleticism. Holy sh Tommy, dude. Holy, look at that, bro. <laughs> yeah, holy Look oh, at the athleticism in this picture right there. Toes pointed. Tight legs. Straight off the block, yeah, you're, going, yeah. you're going horizontal, not vertical. I mean, I mean, talk about just a, oh my God, dude. Look at that. Look at that. That was me, dude. Those were the days, bro. I did know that, yeah. I went there one night when I was, I went on a date with a girl. Um... And it was a trivia night. Um, and you know what fucking pissed me off? This is another story. I don't know if I ever told you guys this. So um, this girl was really cool. Um, forget her name now already. But um, <laughs> anyway, so she invites me to go to this trivia night. And uh, and um, literally like the entire time, I'm like, these guys are smart. Because they're like, getting answers. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know what this answer is, right? And they're getting all these answers. And then, of course, like, the one category I get, they, like, bring up, like, soundtracks to movies. And I, like, totally ace the entire thing. Like, I'm like, uh, uh, <laughs> Back to the Future, you know, Pulp Fiction, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, you know, all these, like, classics. I totally get, right? Somehow, well, we get to the final round. And in the right final round, you could wager, like, all your points and whatever, right? It's, like, double or nothing, right? Hey, right. by the way, do you guys want to go to the Discord real quick? Uh, uh, if Connor can, I can. I don't. I don't. Connor, are you able to do that? Yeah, I can do that. Hold on. Let me let me finish my story real quick. Yeah. Then we'll okay. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah. Well, unless you want to leave, Aaron, I don't care. But um, so oh, oh, bitch? <laughs> well, I don't know if you're listening or not. So, anyways, we're we're at but... this we're at this trivia night, and it's the final question. And the question is, this is, this is going to, it made me, I was so in, inside myself, like I was so mad. But the question was, and I forget what it is. It's like, what is the city that has a nickname of Terminus? It's like, what, what city's nickname is Terminus? Yeah, I don't even um, know. And I'm like, ah, oh, Terminus, this sounds so familiar. And then it hit me. I'm like, okay, Walking Dead, Terminus was a place where... Uh, it was for, it was, a, it was not, it ended up not being a good place, but it was like Termin in, in the walking dead terminus was uh, a place that these people would talk about being like such a, a safe haven. We can, we have food, we have supplies, we have safety. And it turns right. out like these people were cannibals and they would just kill you and eat you. And, um, and so I'm like, okay, terminus, they were outside Atlanta. Is it Atlanta? And I didn't say anything because I'm like, I don't want to be the guy that like fucks it up for like, I'm on this date. I don't want to be the guy that loses all the money. <laughs> right? right. And so I don't say anything. And, and, and it turns out the fucking answer was Terminus. It was Atlanta. And I'm like, oh my God, if I said something, I could have been the hero. And if Damn. we would, if, the, if we, if we got it right, we would have fucking won the entire thing. Bro. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> And I, 
I, dude, I totally, I just was like, so I'm like, I don't want to like disappoint everyone because I wasn't for sure, but I was like using the walking dead as a reference. <laughs> That's and like I, you, uh, like the whole time you were the genius. Yeah, I was a and genius. You were like, I don't know. And, uh, crazy. it didn't work out. So, <laughs> <laughs> So that's the story, bro. Uh, yeah, that, that so if you wanted to know, Atlanta's nickname was Terminus. Wow. Um, I don't know what Terminus was stood for. I think it was something to do with like safety or something like that. But I. It's like uh, who knows. I I love those stories. I love it. I honestly, before we go, quick note. One of my favorite things about high school swimming was definitely the breakfasts in the morning. Like the yep. bacon, the pan, like the, the hot the breakfasts. Do you remember? The, do you remember the Saturday morning breakfasts that we would have at my house? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, oh, dude. My gosh. I I just remember like everybody like at, at, on most some days we'd never get breakfast. Some days we wouldn't get breakfast. Everybody yeah, was so really slow to days. get changed. People would take forever in the showers. When we got a hot breakfast for Bro, morning, like in and out. everybody, everybody's like fucking like, racing to the showers. Everybody's oh, racing to the yeah. showers, trying to take a quick shower and like get their clothes on and go get like fucking like a handful of bacon, get the chocolate milk. Chocolate milk was always a big chocolate thing that ran out. King. Everybody's like, key. bro, we gotta get that chocolate milk, dude. I remember, like, uh, remember Waffle Wednesdays, bro? That only lasted so long. Dude, yeah, no, we, we, we kept I was it. late to class because we, of that. We kept that going, I feel, at least for like the year that I was there. I think we started that my senior year. I was like, that's the stuff that like kept us close. Like everyone pre make waffle batter the night before and bring it in. <sighs> and it made the practice better because you're like, bro, it's waffle. It's waffle. Oh my gosh. I don't know Dude, if you were there, Tommy, or not. New Year's Eve had breakfast. A, oh. Was that you were there, yeah. You were there, Tommy. I remember when I was there probably. They was. were like, um, you guys had a talk about kicking in the girl's trash can or something. <laughs> and I, I skipped the pra I skipped the practice where Rich pulled the team aside and said, you can't do that anymore. Yeah. We, the yeah, next we, we, morning for, for, context, up, for context here, we would, the girls would lodge their, their trash can between the door to like ventilate the room because it gets so hot in those, those locker rooms. Cause the showers. So we, we would always kick it in to piss them off. But go ahead. Or Axe Bomb, which is a great story as yeah. well. Dude, I was I and, literally seen with my eyes Aaron kick in the trash can. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Aaron I missed just, like, the practices. The story, but so I skipped it because I was getting burnt out. I was doing it since I was seven years old and I was you just getting a break. burnt out with it. Yeah. Anyways, so uh I skipped practice the day Rich pulled everybody to the side and said, You guys can't kick in the trash can anymore. That's hazing or whatever. Yeah, he was pretty stern and, about that. And then, so nobody told me anything. And so literally we got done with practice, morning practice. We're walking out. I was thinking I was like right next to Cameron Gill, Alex Wolverine and those guys. And I think uh, Tommy was near me too or something maybe. Or, or I don't remember. But essentially we're walking I down the hallway go, towards the cafeteria. Like I can picture yeah, in my head that like it's like a mile long out. hallway, bro. So I'm in, long. I'm in front, so long. I'm in I think it's only like everybody. a quarter mile, but still. I'm in front of everybody, and then I like go up, and then I, like I hear Cameron Gill or somebody was like, no, 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 Aaron, 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 Aaron. Like, and slow I like motion. No. kick it, and I kick it as hard as I can. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I could hear it, like slam against the wall in the back, and then fall over, <laughs> bro. So... And then like Cameron Gill's like laughing a little bit. He's like, bro, we we can't can't do that anymore. And I was bro. like, what? <laughs> so so it's funny because to add on to that, like. I and I think that was like my senior year. And so the next year I went to college and came back for like a fall break or something like that. And Cam Gill and like Alex Wolfer, they invited me down after because I'd come back and train in the mornings with the team. And uh, they invited me down to the cafeteria for breakfast. They're like, oh, I'll just do it for old time's sake. Right. And I'm like, oh, OK, cool. And I remember like after the practice, I'm like, I'm walking by the locker room and I see the trash can in there. I'm like, bro. It's been a minute. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, dude, I'm in college. Like, would that be like the right thing to do or not? Or like, is it like, should I do it? And just like something in my mind just like clicked. I'm like, I got to kick this thing in. And I just full on like soccer kick, like punted this trash can in and just sent it. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, that was the most I've been waiting for like a year to do that again. 
It feels God. so satisfying. It was because it, it, you could kick it as hard as you could, but the trash can was like just like this thin plastic, so it would just give, and you like wouldn't have to worry about breaking a toe or anything like that. And it wouldn't break either, so it was pretty durable. Did you, did you guys have? Like, did you guys ever do the axe bombs? I would. I only did, did that it. once. I only did that once or that twice. One, and I think either Bleach. I don't know if Bleach did one, but I know Josh Ben did May one. did one. Ben did one. I did. I did a few. That one got shut down pretty hard. I, I remember the yeah, one because the, the, I was there with Ben yes. when he did it. He took a pen and he popped it. Yeah, and he just I plugged it in there. It was my pen. I I somehow like I found this pen that had like the perfect like like tip that was I don't know. Anyways, um, I remember yeah. Uh, the the first time I did it, it was my freshman year, and um, I remember uh, going up, and I like I didn't know how to do it right because I was like I was my freshman year, and they taught me how to do it, and they're like you just stab it and chuck it in, right? It's that simple. And I'm like okay, easy enough, right? And so I get up there, and it wasn't even axe. It was like it, it was like the off brand like degree body spray, like you know whatever. It's like the worst like thing you could get. And I remember like stabbing it, and I chucked it in. And as a freshman, I'm like, this is the most like illegal thing I've ever done in my life, or whatever. And it landed on Nora Bro. It ba it banked off the wall. I threw it so hard it banked off the wall and ricocheted. It landed in Nora Brolsma's bag, and. For the rest of the day, they were all showering at this point in time. For the rest of the day, she smelled like straight up like man clone because it landed on her clothes. And I'm like, holy shit. That was such a satisfying thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so bad. It's so I, I think I think I did about two or three axe did bombs at the time. Did they <laughs> Like one time we went out and like Ben May brought out his like trombone. Phil brought us his tuba and like all the other guys who had instruments at that point in time, when we were walking down the hallway, they're just blasting this music. And as student, other like regular students were rocking in and, uh, God, we had a good, time. the ax bombs and the trash can kicks were the, were, were pretty good. Uh, those, those, those are amazing. Those were good times. Get so pissed off. There's a time when Noah Brown and I afternoon practice, uh, filled up a, lot, a bunch of water balloons and went up to the bleachers above the girls locker room and, and just, we had like a hundred water balloons and uh, we just started raining down water balloons on the girls and rich made me stay <laughs> after practice and swim like an extra 800 because of it. <laughs> That's funny. Bro. The best was when the moms would come in and decorate the boys locker room for sectionals Oh, and wow. yeah, there is the there is the classic sign. This was like at eight o'clock at night. There's the classic sign that they would put above the urinals that said, Congratulations, urine sectionals. And it just made me laugh. Those. It made me laugh every time because it was just it, it was so good. I remember those. That's so crazy. Yeah, shaving a locker room was a it was a vibe, bro. We would put on music and we would just I phew. I, I feel bad for the janitors.